Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Peter Lakov, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this cool right on effect in Premiere Pro without using any plugins. So without wasting more time, let's go straight to my laptop and do it. Inside Premiere Pro, I have already loaded this video. And the next thing I will do is to create a text by pressing T or just go down there and click on to the T icon with the mouse. After that, I'm gonna go to the screen and apply the text anywhere you like on the screen. I'm gonna type Peach and I'm gonna press Escape, then V and move the text in the middle of the screen. After I've done that, I'm gonna move the text backwards near to the beginning of the video and I'm gonna move the cursor as well to the beginning of the text layer. Then I'm gonna go to effects and type right on. And from there, I'm gonna grab the right on effects and apply it to the text layer. After we apply the text layer, I will go to the effect control panel. And from there, I'm gonna scroll down to the right on effect. And as you can see, there is a lot of settings and we have to change a few of them. To start with, I will change the color from white to let's say green. Okay, that's kind of green because when we apply this stroke over the letters, we want to be distinguished so we can recognize the letters from the stroke. And in this case, it's going to be green. Otherwise, if it's white, it will be difficult for the eye to see the difference. Next, I'm going to increase the brush size from two to let's say 50. Okay, 50 is the maximum and zero is the minimum. In this case, I'll use 50 because the letters are pretty big. And then I'm gonna move down to the brush hardness, which is 79%, I'm happy with that. And we will leave the brush opacity to 100% and we're gonna change the stroke length to six. Then we're gonna change the brush spacing from 0 0.010 to 0. 0.001 like that and once we set up all these settings the next thing i will do is go back to the brush position and click on to the stopwatch and there's a moment when this is gonna take a while to create all these keyframes because for every keyframe we have to create a point where we cover the letters so do not waste your time i'm gonna speed up this process and once i finished i will show you the final result Also, if you haven't covered the letter properly, you can see that there is a little blue dots inside the green stroke. So these blue little dots will allow you to adjust the stroke so you can cover entirely the letter. And now once we have finished with covering the letters, I'm gonna go back to fit so I can see the whole screen. And then I'm gonna go back to the effect control panel and from there, I will go down to the paint style and from on original image, we're gonna change it to review original image. So let's see what we have done so far. And with that, I'll conclude this Premiere Pro tutorial. If you want to see more of this, you can check the videos at the end of this one. I will appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.